So, paano naman kapag ang hinahanap nating end ay 30 or 40 or 50th term or 60th term? So, yung value ng end natin or yung end term natin dito ay medyo mataas na. So, meron po tayong formula na pwedeng magamit pag ang mga value ng end natin ay medyo mataas na. So, ano yung formula na yun? It is our Binet formula. Si Binet formula is an example of explicitly defined sequence. Ibig sabihin, yung terms niya, yung terms ng sequence natin ay hindi nakapdepende dun sa previous term. Okay, so ibig sabihin, pwede natin ito magamit kahit hindi natin alam yung previous term. But provided, dapat ang ating first term here is 1, second term natin dapat ay 1, third term is equal to 2, and so on. Ibig sabihin, dapat tayo ay nag-i-start sa 1, 1, 2, 3, and so on. So let's have an example. We have, if the fib 1 is 1, ibig sabihin the first term, ibig sabihin ng fib, yung first term natin daw ay 1, second term natin ay 1, third term natin ay 2, ibig sabihin, yung sequence natin ay 1, 1, 2, and so on. Hanapin daw natin yung 16th term in the Fibonacci sequence. Ibig sabihin, ang n natin dito ay 16. So gamitin natin yung Binet formula. So we have this one. All you have to do is to substitute 16 dun sa lahat ng n na nakikita niya. Papalitan lang natin yan ng 16. Okay? So in this case, pwede tayong gumamit ng calculator para mas exact yung computation natin. So, kung ang mga calculator nyo po ay mga one-liner or two-liner calculator, yan ito po yung format na gagamitin nyo. Okay? Kung baga, gagawin po natin dyan, so, kung ang, ang two-liner calculator, gumamit po tayo ng tatlong parentheses, and then, one plus square root of five, close parentheses, and then yung symbol for the race, di ba? Yung nakabalitad na V kapag yung two-liner calculator nyo. And then, 16, Close parenthesis, minus, dalawang open, 1 minus square root of 5, close, and then raised to 16, dalawang close, and then divided by open parenthesis, 2 raised to 16, and then kahit di na kayo gumamit ng times, or pwede rin kayong gumamit, and then square root of 5, and then close, and then equal sign. Okay? So in this case, pakita natin sa calculator kung paano siya kinocompute. Okay, so using this calculator, let us input yung ating formula. So, we have the fraction symbol. Open parenthesis, 1 plus square root of 5. And then, next po natin. So, nakikita nyo yung arrow. Di ba parang nasa loob pa siya ng square root sign? So, kapag dinaretso mo siya, pindot na parenthesis, and then raise to 16, ganyan po yung mangyayari. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya match dun sa formula natin. So, kapag ganyan po, tingnan nyo po maigi yung cursor, dapat siya ay makalabas. Okay, pindutin nyo lang po yung next. Tsaka nyo pindutin yung close parenthesis. And then, erase po natin sa 16. And then, next nyo siya para medyo bumaba yung cursor. Minus, open parenthesis, 1 minus square root of 5. Okay, next then, close parenthesis, raise to 16. And then, down, you have 2 raised to 16. Down, uh, next nyo siya. And then, square root of 5. Pwede po kayong gumamit ng times dun sa gitna or kahit hindi na. Okay, and then press equal sign. So the answer here is 987. Okay, so our 16th term will be 987. Okay, so let's have another example. Sample number 4. So ang first term ulit natin dito says 1. Second term is 1. Third term is 2. Okay, so ibig sabihin 1, 1, 2, and so on. So, we're looking for the 21st term. So, ibig sabihin ng n natin ay equal to 21. So, using our BNA formula, so yung mga n, papalitan lang po natin yan ng 21. Okay, so ibig sabihin F21 is equal to open parenthesis 1 plus square root of 5 raised to 21 minus the quantity 1 minus square root of 5 raised to 21 all over 2 raised to 21 times square root of 5. So, ito po yung format para sa may mga 2-liner calculator. Kung baga, pag pinres mo yung 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 raise to, hindi siya, hindi siya nakaganyan. Ang lalabas ay yung parang inverted na V. So, ito po yung pwede nyong gamitin. O kaya, pwede po kayo mag-download sa, sa Play Store or sa Apple Store ng mga scientific calculator. So, meron naman po siya doon. Okay? So, pakita natin sa calculator paano natin to i-compute. Ayan. So, open parenthesis, 1 plus square root of 5. Next, open, raise to 21. Ayan, raise to 
next minus open parenthesis 1 minus square root of 5 next close raise to 21 and then down to raise to 21 pwede kayo gumamit ng times and then square root of 5 so the answer here is 10,946 okay so 21st term on a Fibonacci sequence is 10,946. Okay, so next example, number 5. So again, ang ating first term ay 1. Second term natin ay 1. Third is 2. So find the 35th term. So ibig sabihin ng n natin dito ay 35. So using ating Binet formula, once again, lahat ng n ay papalitan natin ng 35. Okay? 35, 35, 35. Okay, and then this is your pattern sa calculator. Okay, so gamit na tayo ng calcu para mas mabilis ang ating calculation. So, pakita natin sa calcu, palitan ko na lang yung 21 ng 35. Okay, so press equal. So the answer is 9,227,465. Okay, so para sa ating 35th term is 9,227,465. Okay, so imagine kung kinagamit mo ay yung recursive formula. Diba napaka, napakalaki na nung computation. Okay, so kung masipag po kayo, pwede nyo naman pong gamitin. Okay, so now let's have another example. If Fib 1 is 0, meaning the first term is 0, second term is 1, Third term is 1. So, find that 20th term. So, sabihin, ang n natin dito ay 20. Now, if gagamitin natin si Binay formula, kailangan natin mag-minus ng 1. Okay? Kasi ang start in natin dito ay 0. So, bakit kailangan natin mag-minus ng 1? So, from this illustration, for example, you're looking for the 10th term. ba ang 10th term ng uh, sequence natin, if it starts to 0, the answer is 34. Now, as you can see, Nasaan ba yung 34 dito? Di ba nandito? Ito yung 34 natin. Which is, ano ba tong 34? Pang 9th term naman siya. Kapag ang starting mo naman ay yung 1. Wherein, di ba yung Binay formula, parang naka-formulate siya. Okay, naka-formulate siya using first term is equal to 1. So, kaya nagma-minus tayo ng isa. Okay, para makuha natin yung tamang sagot. Okay, so kaya dito, if our 20 or ang hinanap natin ay 20, so ang n natin ay 20, bawasan natin siya ng isa para makuha natin yung pang 20th term. Kung baga gagamitin natin yung 19th, okay, para makuha natin yung 20th term. Okay, bakit? Kasi nga yung starting po dito, based on the problem, starts with 0. Okay? So we have 9, uh, 20 minus 1, 20 minus 1, 20 minus 1. So ang magiging formula natin dyan, Okay, naka-19 na po yung ating mga exponent. And then, ang pattern natin sa calcul is this. Kung mga two-liner calculator ang gamit nyo. And then, try lang natin siya sa calculator para makita natin yung computation. So, in this case, 19, we have open parentheses 1 plus square root of 5. Next, para lumabas yung cursor. And then, close parentheses raise to. Diretso nyo na siyang 19 ha. Huwag nyo na isulat yung 20 minus 1. And then, minus, open, minus, open, square root of 5, next, close parenthesis, raise to 19. And then, down nyo po siya, we have 2 raised to 19, next, and then, square root of 5. Okay, so, equals to 4,181. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating 19th term is 4,181 kapag nag-start kay 1. Siya naman ang 20th term natin kapag ang starting ng ating sequence ay 0. Okay? So, tandaan nyo, ang ginamit natin sa example na to ay 0 ang starting. Okay? So, ganun po. Okay. Another example para mas maintindihan nyo siya. Example number 6. If Fib 1 is 1, ay if Fib 1 is 0, so again, this is starts with 0, 1, 1, okay, and so on. So, ibig sabihin, Okay, ang hinahanap natin ay 39 terms, so ang n natin dito ay 39. Okay, so ang gagamitin natin is yes, 39 minus 1, 39 minus 1, 39 minus 1. Okay, minus 1 lang natin, so magiging 38 ang ating n. Okay, so sa calculator natin, input lang natin to sa calcu. Okay, so bagot ko na lang po ito, gawin ko siyang 38. 
and 38. Okay, so the answer is, uh, yeah. So, 39,088,169. Okay? So, try ko nga itong two-liner calculator natin kung magmamatch. So, let's have that one. Tatlong parentheses, 1 plus square root of 5. Next nyo siya, close. Raise 2. Since ako yung raise ko dito, naka-box. Naka so, ngayon sa inyo, yan yung itsura yung inverted P. So, 38. And then, down nyo siya para malagay nyo yung parentheses. Minus, dalawang open. 1 minus square root of 5. Next nyo siya. Close. Raise to 38. Next. And then, dalawang parenthesis. Divide, open. 2 raise to 38. Down nyo siya. You can use times or kahit hindi na. And then, square root of 5. And then, close. Equals. Okay? So, same lang ng sagot. Still, 39,088. Sorry. 39,088,169. Okay. Okay. So, meron pa tayong other version ng ating formula. Yung ating Binay formula. Simplified naman siya. Okay. This is the Binay's simplified formula. By the way, if you're going to have other reference, kung gusto niya siyang isearch sa Google or sa other YouTube, May iba silang ginagamit na formula, pero pare-pareho lang naman po ito. In this case, ito namang formula na pinapakita ko sa inyo ay simplified formula po siya. So, paano naman to? This is this is the friendly version ni Binay formula. Okay, ito naman yung uh, format nyo, paano siya input sa calculator. Okay? So, mas, ano siya, mas simplified version. Okay? So, in this case, let's verify yung answers natin sa example number T, 4, and 5. Okay, yung example natin kanina. Diba yung example number 3 natin, hinahanap natin yung 16th term. So, verify lang natin using this simplified formula. So, lahat, actually, kakang babagoy mo lang dyan yung n. So, which is, substitute lang natin yung n. So, magiging 16. Okay, so ito yung format, format natin. Try natin kung equal. So, pakita natin yung sa calc para makita nyo na tama yung computation. Okay, so paano natin to i-input sa calc -Q? Pwede yung nasa baba. Or pwede namang diretso. Okay? So, maraming pwedeng way. So, ito, isang way. Pindutin nyo yung fraction. And then, 1 plus square root of 5. And then, down 2. So, after nyan, pwede mo lang i-equals. Pagka-equals mo nyan, pwede mo siyang erase sa 16. And then, equals. And then, tsaka mo i-divide kay square root of 5. And then, equals. So, as you can see, ang sagot nito ay may decimal. Pero, wag po kayong hanggang ba. Ang rule natin dito is always round off to the nearest integer. So, ang magiging sagot natin dito ay 987. So, kung may kita natin sa example number 3 natin kanina, ang answer ng 16 term is 987. Okay? So, itong simplified formula is the same dun sa isang formula natin kanina. Okay? So, let's have another Example. Yung example number 4, i-verify natin. Sa example number 4, ang pinapahanap naman is yung 21st term ni Fibonacci sequence. So, try naman natin using this simplified formula. So, we have raised down to 21. Okay? So, ito naman ay other, other way to input on your calculator. Gamitin naman natin itong nasa baba. So, tatlong parentheses, 1 plus square root of 5. Next, dalawang parentheses. Divided by 2, close nyo daw siya, raise to 21, down, divide, square root of 5. Okay, and then press equal. So as you can see here, the answer is 10,945.999. So since ang rule natin is to round off to the nearest integer, okay, or nearest whole number, so our answer here will be 10,946. Kasi diba, 45 na to, 0.9999. So kapag niround off mo yan, magiging 10,946 na. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, in this example, same answer tayo using the simplified formula. Okay? And then, verify natin yung example number 5. Example number 5 naman, ang hinahanap natin dito ay yung 35th term. So, using the simplified formula again, so we have this one. Pakita lang natin yung N ng 35. Okay? So, pakita natin sa calculator. Ito naman ay isa pang version. Siyempre, gamitin na natin then yung pinaka formula. So, parenthesis, ay sorry, fraction, dalawang click, okay, and then open parenthesis, 
And then we have 1 plus square root of 5 down 2. And then close, raised to 35. And then i-down nyo lang siya, square root of 5. Okay? And then equals. So as you can see here, whole number na to. So nagmatch naman siya, which is 9,227,465. Tandaan, itong binig formula natin. Ang starting natin dito sa Fibonacci sequence is 1. Starting Fibonacci number ay 1. Second is 1. Third is 2. And so on. Okay? So last example. This is to find the sum of the Fibonacci number. Example number 7. Sabi dito, what is the sum of the first 12 terms in the Fibonacci sequence? So we're in a start natin ay 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and so on. Okay, so ang formula na gagamitin natin dito ay Sn means the summation. We have F sub n plus 2 minus 1. Okay, since ang hinahanap natin dito is first 12, 12 terms. So ibig sabihin ng n natin dito ay well, we sabihin yung n natin dito, papalitan lang natin ng 12. Okay? So, we have f sub 12 plus 2 minus 1. So, we have f 14 minus 1. Okay? We sabihin, anong gagawin natin dyan? Okay, kukunin muna natin yung 14 term and then tsaka natin babawasan ng isa para makuha natin yung total. So, in this case, gamitin na lang natin yung simplified formula ni Binay, which is this one. Palitan, pinalitan ko lang yung n ng 14. Okay, so compute natin yan, yung 14 term using the simplified formula ni Binay. Pwedeng 1 plus square root of 5 down 2 equals raise to 14 equals and then divide square root of 5 equals. So ang sagot natin dito ay 377.005. So kapag in-round off man natin to to the nearest whole number, the answer is 377. Okay, so therefore ang F 14 natin or 14 term means 377. But on that case, hindi pa po yan final kasi we're looking for the sum. Okay? So sabi dito sa formula, mag-minus pa daw tayo ng 1. So magkakaroon tayo ng 377 minus 1. So ang sum natin mula sa first number ng Fibonacci will be 376. Okay? Mula sa 1 up to the 12 term, we have 376. Okay? Check natin since malapit Mababa lang naman yung term na given, which is 1 to 12. So we have, okay, ito yung list natin from 1 to 12. Ito yung 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th term. Okay, so add nyo lang po yan sa calc And then verify nyo if the correct answer is 376. Okay, so that's how we compute our Fibonacci number using recursive formula, using Binet formula, and also the simplified formula. Okay? And also, how to find the sum of the Fibonacci numbers. Okay? So, thank you everyone. I hope you learned something from our discussion. Thank you and God bless.